Hey guys, Toast here from the Boondog Paints. I've got a little video for you because people have been asking how I've been doing it. So uh, without further ado, here's how I mount my uh, camera to my Dai i4. Uh, the camera I'm currently using is the Sony Action Cam. I'm currently using it, so this is the quality audio you get out of this thing. We're in a fairly low light setting. Uh, I'll give you guys a little tour of that at the end of this video. I'll shoot outside, I'll shoot inside. I'll shoot in a darker room, see how it looks like for you guys. Uh, also all the videos that you see on my channel are done with the Sony Action Cam. Uh, so here's a Sony Action Cam, I can show you. Get at Sony, Sony stores, uh, fairly cheap, they're under 500 bucks for some of the nicer kits. You can now get a bracelet that you can uh, record off of your bracelet, kind of like the drift camera. So this is how I did, a, I mounted it on the, on the helmet here. So I've got a normal i4 to show you. Get that out of the way, and the mount I've done, as you can tell, it's pretty nice and slick. Uh, basically, what I've done is take a knife, like so, pop the die symbol off of there. It's just a little piece of metal, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut, slowly shave off your mask. I recommend taking your lens out first before you do this, so you don't scratch it and then you're going to want to shave it as much as possible without going through, right? Because you can go through. This here is actually just rounded up. So once you've got it shaved off as much as possible, you're going to want to uh, go on a hunting knife or whatever, like a Leatherman, and you want to go to your saw. Something really nice and grippy and toothy like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to run it against where you shaved to make it kind of gritty, so that way the glue has something to hold on. And then after that's done, uh, you're going to want to take your camera mount, which is this one here, the one with the case. In the back of that, I don't know if you can kind of tell in there, but I, uh, I took the knife and I made a grid section. So I went down and across, just carving into it, making it nice and rough. That way the glue will have something to hold on. And the glue that I chose was this product here which is DevCon Plastic Welder in DevTube. So it's a two-in-one dispenser. Uh, you can get it at pretty much any hardware store or any industrial store. Uh, luckily I work at one. Uh, it comes in a nice little tube, little push applicator. Uh, keep in mind whatever you mix this in and whatever you mix it with uh, will be garbage after you're done because this stuff is strong, industrial strong. So it comes in a little push applicator like this. You just push that into your bowl, mix it up for about a minute, becomes kind of pasty. You put that on your mask, and then you're going to have to hold this together without moving. That's a key part, without moving, for about uh, 30 minutes. Now, you can use a C-clamp to do that. Again, recommend take out your lens. Make sure you don't have a lens in there. You don't want to glue your lens by mistake. Also, another thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that if you did go through your mask, you don't want to glue your little clip in the back here because that, if that gets glued you won't be able to take your lens off which causes issues. But other than that, that's pretty uh, pretty deadly solid. Um, that's how I did it. So far it's been holding on great. It's not even remotely loose and we all know that you can definitely bang up your camera when you play paintball. Um, again, this is the Sony Action Cam. Currently using it. Uh, show you how it transitions from dark to bright. As you can tell, it doesn't take a lot of time to transition at all. Definitely can clearly see outside. A little bit of indoor. A little bit more indoor. Let's turn off some lights. So in a darker setting, you can definitely tell. You can still clearly, clearly, clearly view what the hell's going on. I'm sure you guys hear the sirens outside. That's uh, just to give you an idea of the microphone, how well it picks up. So again, if you guys have any questions, any questions at all, let me know. I'll do a video. I'll respond to you guys. I'll do whatever uh, you guys want me to do. That As long as I know what I'm talking about, I will make a video. Take care.